Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? My name is Joe Blodick and I'm a mortgage professional located right here in Aurelia and Barrie, Ontario, Simcoe County to be exact. I've been working all over Ontario now for over 10 years and I'm looking forward to answering some mortgage questions today. And specifically, this is the one thing that first time home buyers are missing every time they talk to me. No one has thought about it. No one has planned for it. And no one is talking about it. So I'm just going to go into what that is today. So I'm a mortgage broker, just to let you know a little bit about me. I love helping people get their first home. I love helping people get started. Whatever that is with their first home, I just love helping you walk through that whole process. Why I was there once before, I was a first time home buyer and I didn't know what I was doing when I first started buying my home and I needed that help. So having just someone there to guide you the whole way it's huge so i how did i get into this industry i got into this industry because i love real estate and i wanted to help people do the same thing and i saw just how much my mortgage broker helped me and i can get into that in another video and uh, so when was that that was just over 10 years ago so what are first time home buyers forgetting to do i mean a lot of first time home buyers come to me, they already have worked on their credit. So their credit is good. They've already worked on, you know, getting, making sure that they're full time at their job. That is good too. But what else can they do? I mean, I have people coming to see me. They both make full time income. They both have a down payment. Their credit is good but they can only afford $350,000. And what can you buy for $350,000? You can buy a house from 2015. That's where you can buy for $350,000. These days, we need a lot more money to be able to afford a house in today's market. So uh, to be able to actually get anywhere, uh, what people that get pre-approved do is they go to find a co-signer. And that is the one thing that first time home buyers are not prepared for is finding that co-signer because usually we have that conversation about credit income and down payment and everything is good. And then we hit co-signer and then everyone's faces drop. What do you mean I needed a co-signer? Well, this is just typical thing and that's just because it's today's market. The only other way you can get things done without a co-signer is to pretty much have a very, very high paying job, an extremely high down payment, or other than that, a second income. Perhaps you have a side hustle, or perhaps you have a part-time income that you have on the side. And those we can use towards counting a, a higher amount for your pre-approval. But most of the time, it's that co-signer and adding a co-signer is only going to take extra you know hour out of your day to make that phone call to make it happen and then set it all up and then we take care of the rest we add all that information onto your application and take care of all the details it's so easy and then two or three years in once your income hits a certain level or your home equity hits another level then we can actually remove your co-signer and you're no longer having a co-signer on title on your home. So it's something that's really good and something that you should really look in having a conversation about is have that conversation about having a co-signer because it's really going to help you out. And if you are uh, making good money with good credit and good income and a good down payment, chances are you might be only able to afford $350,000 and to add a co-signer that makes approximately $40,000 can boost you from 350 to 500,000 very easily. So this is Joe Bladick. If you have any other questions about mortgages or getting pre-approved or seeing how a co-signer could help you, give us a shout in the comments, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, or send me a private message. Thanks very much for watching.